Yes, sir. Today, you kings need to get out here and treat yourselves to what you deserve. Stop wasting money on packs. Check out the Mutt Reserve. Link down in the description below. You can go to get training, players, and coins. And they all get cheap when you use code TEXAS at checkout for 15%. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Texas, and our prayers have finally been answered. The Panther theme team finally has a quarterback. Unfortunately, it's not the quarterback that we all wanted, but I guess it's the quarterback that we all need. So we will take it. We got Teddy Two Gloves on the roster right now, man. He is the team standout for the Carolina Panthers. Personally, I probably would have chose a DJ Moore or Robbie Anderson, maybe even Mike Davis for the offense, but he still would have been like fourth or fifth on my standout list. But you guys have been hearing me complain for so long about using Teddy Two Gloves because he just did not have the throw power. Man, 89 throw power when I was trying to get the ball to these out routes or these post routes or even deep just did not get there with the velocity that I wanted. Now, with him being in the game, we can actually get him out here with good throw power. Got Teddy out here with the Panthers chemistry. Play fake sprinter times two. Got all this stuff maxed out right now. Play fake is now at a, what, plus four to throw power, which is fantastic. Got that plus four to speed. Let's go see my man's ratings right now. See what he talking about about 86 speed 98 throw power now the throw power being a 98 is amazing i just really wish he could get like set feet lead or get gunslinger that way i can actually feel it on the field but i mean this is a nine throw power increase from his what 84 overall card i've been using since the game came out but look at these two compared side by side teddy two gloves oh i put him into the set never mind i forgot i put him into the set but the 84 powered all the way up only had 89 throw power versus this guy out here with 98. So that is gonna be a huge difference. And then ability-wise, since he's an improvised quarterback, he doesn't get anything too crazy. He doesn't get gunslinger, doesn't get set feet lead. Uh, he does get escape artist at the tier three because he powered up, gets 82 speed. So I think we'll probably rock him out with escape artist and running dead eye because that might be the best abilities to put on this guy. Uh, he gets identifier, but I mean that's three AP cheaper on alignment right now. So yeah, we'll throw on. Escape Artist at the Tier 3, then at Tier 2, we're throwing Roaming Deadeye. We took off Route Tech off Andre, which I think is needed because, I mean, even though he does hit all the route thresholds, he doesn't have the speed to create separation like crazy. We also took off Edge Protector on Russell Okung. But I think in the future, I'll probably rock Teddy two gloves just stock because improviser quarterbacks are kind of the third best quarterback archetype in Madden this year because they don't get faster release until they're 95 overall. And the Panthers, I mean, Teddy two gloves probably won't get 95 overall until what, March, April? And so there's not really gonna be, which kind of sucks. So we gotta hope that Cam Newton comes out and get something good when he gets an upgrade, which will probably be around the same exact time because if he wasn't a standout today, man, I don't know what kind of car they got saved for Cam. It makes no sense. But yeah, all right, team is set right now. Not overall, offense looking mighty nice with this Teddy Two Gloves at quarterback and defense always looks spectacular, man. So let's go ahead and get to some gameplay. I'm going to go play on current gen right? I'm not playing on next gen. I thought about it, but I mean, no, I, I hate the menus. I hate the gameplay and I'd much rather have fun. So let's get to it. Also forgot to mention is Teddy Two Gloves gets Vikings chemistry as well as Saints chemistry, but their Drew Brees is better than Teddy Two Gloves because the Hot Rod Master being as good as it is, as well as Set Feet Lee being on Drew Brees. And then for the Vikings, Culpepper, Gunslinger. Like there's no place from other than just being a nice backup to hold your chemistries. All right, Curtis Samuel, let's go, man. Hopefully he gets a out of position running back card. I know the Panthers don't really need it because we got Barry Sanders, <laughs> Mike Davis, as well as McCaffrey. But yo, know, Curtis Samuel been kind of carrying the ball for the Panthers since McCaffrey got hurt. So it'd be very nice to see him. So let's get this done, man. I haven't played Madden since what last week. My sister is here for those that wonder where the videos were. But we're back at a regularly scheduled programming, so expect these uploads to recommence. But let's see what we got right now. Double or nothing, Mr. Big Stop, Acrobats. All right, cool. So no, no one step ahead. So I ain't gonna worry about Andre Johnson not creating separation. But Keyshawn. Oh no, Teddy. It's not Teddy's fault. That's not Teddy's fault. My, that's not Teddy's fault, man. That's my left guard, who is my highest overall lineman. <laughs> that was definitely my right guard. So I'm sorry, Angelo. I blamed you. My bad. I didn't mean to victim blame. My bad. Wrong person. Let's go, though. See what he gets out here. Does. Over it. I'm over it. Can I not get pre Bro, can I not get pressure? What? You see how much time he had versus how much time I had? I'm sorry I don't remember your name, but my man told me in the comment section to just take off double or nothing from my D tackles because it doesn't work on them. So, got on our edge right now. Nice throw. Nice throw. 
Nice throw. I should have felt about the field a little more. That would have been an easy pick by me, but gave a touchdown up. So that's on me. I got caught watching my double nothings get off, and it didn't, they didn't get to the quarterback fast enough, obviously, as you guys saw. You got a touchdown. Back to the same play. This time running the ball, though. This time running the ball. Let's see what we can do. This weak box. Okay. 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 Okay, Barry. I forgot I had Barry saying. I'm like, oh, McCaffrey feeling kind of fast. That's not McCaffrey. <laughs> that dude ain't supposed to be on the field right now, man. That's kind of cheating. But I had to cheat. I need to get this plus four speed. So let's bring in CMC right now. Oh, wow. Y'all just not going to block him? If Teddy can hit this out route, bro, I think, I think it just might be a GG. I know we got a touchdown. Come on, get there. Get there. Yes, no, he dropped it. Ah! If, if I had Gunslinger, that's a catch. Out route, Teddy. Can you hit it? Can you hit it? Can you hit it? No, he can't hit it. Wow. 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 Woo. All right. We are kind of not really struggling, but it's not looking great right there. Let's go, Teddy. Look how slow that ball gets there. Look at how slow it gets there. But look how slow it gets there. It's all good, though. We got to make do, man. Had to make do. Right there. Oh, oh my goodness, bro. His three-man pass rush is whooping up right now. All right, Teddy, right there. There it is. A big week for fantasy out of Teddy. <laughs> Dude, a big week, man. There you go. There you go, McCaffrey. Going to look to try to hit my man Steve on this little post because, like, between, if it's cover three, right, he should be able to get between, you know, all, all that. No, never mind, it's not cover three. It's something, though. It's touchdown. That's what that is. That's what that is. Say that. That was man. Cover three looked this time, something different. He likes his little bunch set over there, motioning. He's not really running anything shallow. And I say they throws the ball short. <laughs> but yeah, it's like his offense just going to be out of this bunch set. I'm over it. Nice throw. Again, I'm not getting no pressure, guys. I cannot generate pressure without an edge threat. I just can't. All right, let's see what Brian Burns can do. All right. Nobody's. There you go. Oh, nice throw. Oh, that was lucky. Use a Shaq Thompson this time. Watch the tight end. Actually, is he on the Ebron? Who's, I'm, oh shit, god dang it, going to Ebron, going to Ebron. Brian Burns! All right, it's not a first, not a first though. This is a run with Reggie Bush. I, I need you to do your thing right here. All right, he's back in motion, all right, cool. It's pass commit because he's throwing the ball. Oh, that's a good catch. That's a good catch. I played hard flash and everything there too. My guy was still too deep. Now, thank you for the tackle there, Reggie White. Let's go. Might have made a mistake not hard flatting this because I feel like he's got somebody open. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Aeneas. Chains up. Man up chin on that guy. We're going to use a shack. Watch the... Ran the ball three times. Ran the... He... <laughs> That's nonsense right there. If dudes in fall forward, whenever you tackle the man, like, this would be an easy field goal. But now he's better get a touchdown. Let's pull back down. Like, you just... You can't stop him, man. <laughs> got plenty of time. All right, let's go out of bounds. There we go. Cool. A little drive starter right there. He's going to give me some cover three match, it looks like. So if I get that and got time in the pocket, we should got guys open across the field on these crossers, but we'll see. No, he blitzed. He blitzed. Good stuff. And go back to this, and then we'll see if we can actually get the time of the pocket to find these guys that are open. There you go. Hot one right there. It's got a bound. You know, you know. All right, we can make adjustments, bro. See if he's going to watch Steve or if he's going to watch Keyshawn. All right, nobody's open. Let's scramble. Okay, I forgot I got a skate bars. I forgot, like, why is he so fast? <laughs> he's pressing, so we might be able, if Steve Smith can get off Dante. Unless he manned him up. Did he man up Steve? Yeah, okay, he manned him up. That's, okay, that's just man coverage. Good pick. I did not expect Glover Quinn to be, and I couldn't get a tackle. <laughs> that's my fault. I shouldn't have thrown that. That is on me. I should not have thrown that at all. Damn it. Go ahead and quit that game because of that one mistake I made that basically put me out of the game because I'm not able to get stops on defense because you guys saw his offense was very safe. He had a 14 play drive, which took like four minutes. Like he's not trying to make mistakes. And if we're not able to force pressure to force the mistakes, we're not going to be able to win the game. So there's no point to stay there. So I went ahead and changed my abilities back around. Double or nothing is trash, bro. I don't like this ability at all. Like, it works for my opponents, but it doesn't work for me. It's frustrating. I had it on my edge threats that time. But he still had so much time to 
to do stuff in the pocket whenever my coverage was good. So we're back with an edge threat, even though I know this upcoming game, we're going to run into a guy that has two edge protectors, and it's just going to make me mad. But yeah, we got one edge threat back out here in Brian Burns, and we also have the one step ahead on the knees because he needs it because he's way too slow, and one step ahead on Dante Jackson, who's very fast but cannot cover to save his life. So that is what we got rocking right now. One acrobat, two one steps ahead, and then a guy that has edge threats. So hopefully our defense can actually get to the quarterback this go around and not leave it up to my cornerbacks to be able to guard as much as they were forced to that last game and we catch a W. Again, out here at three-man pass rush, which for some reason is better than four. He has two one step, three one. All right, let's see what this man got out here. He has a Cardinals theme team, it looks like. Acrobats and pick artists. I love it. Now, I quit that last game because there's no point to play against 3-1 step aheads because it's just going to make me mad. Because if he starts playing man coverage, it's a GG. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is going on, man? It's just not my day. It's just not my day. The game lagged immediately as I try to go for that throw right there. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay. I just cannot get blocking at all. I don't know what I did, man. I must have like made somebody mad at EA. Because I just do not get blockers. I just do not get blockers as we throw almost a pick right there. All right, if he's playing cover two, we should be able to get a sideline throw here. Let me block my running back. I don't have to block against three people. Nope, I can't. Oh, maybe. That's a touchdown. There we go. There we go, Keyshawn. There you go, 4th and 16, Tate throws the slowest touchdown pass of all time, but it got there. Perfect. I just don't understand this game. Like, why can my opponent send three and get pressure, and I send four and not get to the quarterback? Before anybody says your offensive line tech sucks, okay, I get that. My defensive line does it. <laughs> Reggie White, Brian Burns, Mario Addison, Charles Johnson. Like, those guys are pretty solid, right? They're pretty good. I got to flip Brian Burns on the other side a little like. I'm over it. Oh, at all. I hate this offense. <laughs> Guess go. There we go. Oh, if you don't tackle him. All right, playing man across the board, which ain't smart. I know it ain't, but I got two one step aheads out there, so I'm hoping that they're matching against the right people. Got the spy. Nice throw. There. Oh. Y'all say linebackers are good for the run, huh? Oh, man. Shaq Thompson bounced right off Reggie Bush. Come on, man. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> hey, run a ball to Shaq Thompson again, bro. See if you can get three for three for positive yards. Give me that. There we go. He can't tackle. He can sure as hell catch. Uh, oh, let's go. This is probably not the smartest play to run right now. He's using linebacker, so maybe I can. No, this is cover three. Good. I don't. That was that was okay. Pick six. That's my fault. Ah, I thought I could pass lead that up, but no. Nah. Troy Palomalu got a really good jump on that ball from the flat. I keep throwing picks. There we go, Shaq. There we go. Look at that. There we go. Shaq cover two right now with a spy up with contains to keep the size lead of pocket. But I don't know if that's gonna be. Give me that! No, I'm gonna say there's no way he caught that. He's out of cover three. We should have Shockey open. I'm gonna block the running back, you know, I don't really want to. Yeah. There we go. I probably could have rat caught that, but I was nervous because the animations. We'll take that though. I'm gonna give him the same look, but I'm gonna try to hit Steve Smith on the left side of the field, and I got more room. And hopefully we can get the ball over top. Oh, no, maybe. Yes, no, yes, let's go, Steve! That was a, that was dropped right in the perfect position for him to catch that. But this play either is going to be work or it might be a pick. Oh, Steve, never mind. We're out of the back of the end zone. <laughs> I had Steve Smith open, but you're out of the back of the end zone, so I couldn't go there with the ball. He got stuck on D-line. Steve's been around the back end zone again. <laughs> I, didn't, I forgot Acrobat's not overpowered. 
All right, that was on me. I forgot that Acrobat is that ridiculous. Okay, back out in five wide. Start of the second half. Took his field goal going in, which I don't blame him for. There we go. Let's go. Watch the crosser with Tyreek. That one gets open if he runs that. Everything's there. Bro, loving it. Oh, oh, nice throw. I did not think he... I should have followed the entire time. I thought he might go back to the tight end there, and I gave him a huge gain right there. Got another third and one right now. He's going to run the ball up the middle with Saquon, which is his power back, it looks like. I don't know why he's bringing in Saquon when some Reggie Bush been looking very, very power backy earlier in the game. Go hard flat here. Go hard flat here. Uh, oh, let's go. Let's go, Aeneas. You, you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. That was that was that was lucky. <laughs> that ball was thrown super, super behind the receiver, and I got the pick for it. So let's get it. I threw a pick on this route right here because Steve Smith supposed to like you know run, but for some reason. I don't know what he's doing, but he's like not running his route properly and messing everything up. What the? What? No, I can't make that throw. I did not realize how important Gunslinger is. <laughs> you see how much room was there? <laughs> there was so much room there. And it was, bro, he was so wide open. Oh, nice. I don't know why we go for hit sticks. I don't. Even, they don't fumble the ball in the first place. Just tackle them. <laughs> nice. I took one step and I was out of the play completely, man. <laughs> Whoo! Down here cannot happen because my offense right now has been really, really terrible. I'm gonna blame it on rust right now, but I'm also gonna blame it on just not having the awareness to realize I can't be doing certain things. Let's go! Throw the ball right at Trey Boston. He ain't the fastest. We can throw the ball right at him, though. He's going to catch it. There you go. So we're going to see what we can do right here. Oh, right there. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. All right. Time to stop treating Teddy Bridgewell like Josh Allen. God, this game is lagging bad right now, man. But that is a completion with any quarterback with set figure gunslinger. Oh no, I didn't get the pass lead. We got the we got the moss. No, did he moss up? Did he moss? No, Andre Johnson contested ball catch guy. He just he saved my ass right there. Saved my ass. All right. Let's try the other side of the field with Keyshawn. Can we stop lagging game? Can we stop lagging? Never mind, it's man coverage. That's me. Whoo! Three man pass rush, bro. Got got dog. Aaron Donald got three sacks. Oh, my. That's a really, really good catch. We got two minutes to get the ball into the end zone. So, he's got to just, you know, let's keep playing with how we're playing, man. Hopefully, our line can stay busy. <laughs> oh, that's a... <laughs> that was a bad read. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Pressure got there, man. Three-man pass rush, just OP for some reason. And Dante Jackson just sealed the game. <laughs> I don't understand it, man. Three-man pass rush does not need to be this good. It doesn't. He got the W, man, after taking two L's, one of them being my own fault, the other one being just to quit because I'm not going to be playing three one step ahead with this receiving core I have right now because these guys cannot create separation. Plus, I wanted to test out Teddy. And I wanted to kind of show you guys some me throwing the ball the entire time. I'm going to get out here and just run it against those guys with those abilities. So, what did we learn today? We learned that Teddy Bridgewater, while a really solid stat quarterback, right? His ratings are really amazing. 86 speed, 98 throw power. Without having set feet leader gunslinger, he's not able to get the ball to the receiver when they're open, right? When he releases the ball, he gives the defense a chance to make a play on said ball. They were plays this game that if I threw a Josh Allen or if I threw a set feet lead Justin Herbert with less throw power would be able to make than this Teddy because unfortunately he doesn't have that ball velocity that you get when you equip an ability like Gunslinger. So it kind of puts a damper on my offense because I have to then readjust and become a like just, you know, like see the field, see the play before it actually develops and then throw the ball earlier than I want to, but that may end up working out for me in the end. So it's just going to, 
it's going to take a while for me to tune my play style to use a guy like this. I'm still going to use Josh Allen on my main squad, but I'm going to be playing a lot more games with this Panther theme team because they're 9-1 overall now, which is fantastic. And we got the quarterback that I've been complaining about. I've been wanting to start this series for the longest, but not having a quarterback, I wasn't about to do it. But now I can. You know what this means? Theme team battles will be making its return to the channel very soon, right? We got Gut Fox lined up for a game. We got MTG. We got Shop. The list goes on, man. I'm going to play every single theme team with my Panthers and hopefully we come out with some wins. Thank you to EA for dropping a Teddy Two Gloves. Even though I did not want him today, he's going to allow me to do a little bit more stuff on the channel that I've been wanting to do, but I had to put it on hold because I didn't got a quarterback, so... We're good to go, man. Hope you guys enjoyed. That is the Teddy Bridgewater gameplay. What are your thoughts on him? Let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. They say money came by your happiness, but I swear to God, it's a good downplay. Trying to stuff so many binges in my pocket, you would swear that I was out here trying to drown Franklin. I was bred in the slums, got fed up with corns. Now you don't play a pound cake. Told me when it was a root of all evil, but I swear to God, I ain't never found safe.